Thank you. And the wet weather is starting to really saturate the ground and uproot trees and force water into homes across our area. As we've been telling you, the worst of the coastal flooding is yet to come. 10 on your side, Joe Fisher is live in Norfolk tonight, where supplies are selling out fast ahead of tomorrow's high tide. Hi, Joe. Deanna, hi there. Management here at this Taylor's Do It Center tell me they've had a steady stream of cu customers all day long. They have 10 stores across the Hampton Roads area that have seen an uptick in business over these past few days. And of course, they're getting ready for tomorrow. Flashlights in high demand, batteries, even large generators, but also chainsaws. They've been selling a lot of them at all of their stores. That's to deal with fallen branches and uprooted trees. Earlier today, I got a look at one unfortunate example of the damage at one home in Terrellton that was crumbled by a large tree. I'm in, I'm in total shock. This is the root of the problem, literally, along Jeffrey Drive in Norfolk. It was overwhelming last night when I pulled up. I had a hard time even getting out of the car. When I saw it, I just sat in the car and cried. Becky Bagarin has lived here for 28 years. This is the house where my kids grew up in. Friday night around 5 o'clock is when she says her neighbor's tree uprooted. One person was inside, but they weren't hurt. The tree crushed her son's bedroom while he was thankfully away at work. This is, this is the new garage door that we just put up not too long ago, and that's a new roof. It's just been up there two months. Bugarin says the damage is hard to look at, especially because of the precautions she took to protect against this very situation. Took trees out from my yard. Had them pulled up a couple of years ago, all the trees, so this wouldn't happen. The toughest part, she says, is looking at the garage, not knowing if precious mementos survived the impact and the water. And I just lost my father a couple of months ago, and there's, um, and my mother in law one month ago, and there's boxes of pictures in the garage. That we don't know where they're at. It's a home where Bugarin says countless memories were made, and because of that, she has no plans of leaving. It's not a matter of walking away from it. We have to rebuild and start over. And Becky tells me she's especially thankful for insurance tonight, also that no one was hurt there. Meanwhile, here at the hardware store, they say whatever the situation brings tomorrow, however high the tide goes, they'll be open and they're ready for whatever this storm delivers. We're live tonight in Norfolk. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.